Ho hopefully Santa's good to us. <laughs> the attack are making their wish list before the OHL trade deadline. You know, if we can add, uh, add a couple of pieces, I think that would definitely help. Tied for the Midwest Division lead with 44 points, the attack are six points out of the top spot in the conference. But the Saginaw spirit have been the first to show their hand recently. They traded for former number one pick John McFarland. Now it's up to the other teams to figure out how to match those moves. Right now with uh, Scott Stager's injury, we've, we've gone out and uh, at least shored up our goaltending with uh, Zader. You know, we could probably use a defenseman, one more defenseman, and... Uh, um, you know, maybe a, a left wing. Another boost to the club was the return of their three best players from Canada's World Junior Team. Garrett Wilson, Jesse Blacker, and Joey Hishin were all cut. Now they can concentrate solely on winning a title in Owen Sound. We could, uh, we could possibly make a run for it this year, and um, that'd be a huge honor, something uh, I think that I've wanted to do my whole career, and um, if I can do anything to, to help that cause out, I'll do whatever it takes. If history is any indication, a team that wants to make a serious run needs to add pieces at the deadline. They uh, usually have three pretty, pretty deep lines, so I think uh, we could make a few moves here, but uh, I think we also have, uh, with that said, we also have a very good team, and um, whatever happens, happens, and we'll be prepared either way. Brent Lale, A News.